Like I strongly believe that good sales is about the transference of emotion, of conviction, of belief, right? Like, and the more that you believe in something, the easier it's going to be to sell because you're going to naturally do things that we try to train everyone to do. So we talk a lot about tonality, right? Like, and we talk a lot about um, having confidence and about body language. Well, if I really believe in what I'm selling, I'm going to, I'm going to do all of that naturally, right? Like I'm going to, I'm going to raise my voice when I'm excited or I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to, it's, and it's, it's not necessarily the trained part of it. And there are a, a lot of salespeople that aren't truly, they don't truly believe in what they're selling, right? Even some, even some of the business owners that can't differentiate between their service, like their company and somebody else's company. And if that's, if that's a belief that you have at the core, that's what you're going to project. And so if you have a salesperson on your team, or if you as the business owner truly believe in, that you are, that you are better, that you can help them, that you are going to protect their network, that you are going to do a better job than their current provider, I promise you that's going to come through. And I would argue that somebody that believes in what they're selling will out it with a, even with a mediocre process will outsell somebody that doesn't with an excellent process because of all the small things and the way that they project it. Right. And so I like when we, if we build sales training program, like if you're hiring a new salesperson, right? Like I, I just hired a salesperson in my company. We laid out the, what the agenda was going to be in the agenda. I have sell the salesperson, meaning they are going to spend half of a day going through the wins channel where all of our clients post wins. They're going to look at testimonials. They're going to watch the social, like all the social proof that we capture. And I want to do that early in the process because I want my salesperson. I want one of the first things that they do is to go through stuff and go, wow, this place is pretty awesome. Wow. I can really help. I can see myself so that when, when they need to be assertive, like on the last slide, when it comes time to challenge somebody, a prospect to help them make a decision, they're going to believe in what they're doing because I've, I've intentionally designed that process so that they go, okay, like they, so that they believe. Right. And I, I just think that that's a, a really important piece um, when you're hiring somebody and even as the business owner, like, you know, I would, I would ask everybody on this call, like, stop and think, like, ask yourself, like, do you really, really believe that your company is, is, is the best, right? And in those of you that do, I promise you your close rate is higher than, than everyone else. Like it's, it starts there in, in my opinion. So yeah, this is one I, I feel really, really strongly about. And now that you say that, Ray, I mean, if you notice that in our coaching uh, sessions, a lot of the times the MSP business owner will send us um, their brand new salespeople to our sessions. Mm -hmm. And when we ask them in that opportunity, how did you differentiate yourself? How did you show that you were better? Your company services were better. They've never been talked to that way. They don't know. They don't know. They're, they are thinking that they're just following a process. They don't know. They're not excited about the service. They don't know what is it about their business is better than anybody else's. Um, they've never been taught. They've mm -hmm. never been talked to. So if you are a CEO of, of MSP, you need to have that conversation. Sell to your salesperson as to why your, why your service is so good and why your company is the best option. So get excited about it. No, and part of what helped me sell is in Rochester, I knew our, our MSP service was better than any other competitor that I had in the area. And that confidence exuded, exuded it made the sale not a sale because I was not comfortable with the stereotypical used car sales process. Mm -hmm. But because I was so confident that our service is the best one out there and it's going to make that business owner's life so much better if they if he signed if he or she signed up with our services that excitement helped sell the service it did and it helped you i mean i i think one of the reasons you probably ended up loving sales like my theory would be like you believed in your company and it's like i don't know that you could sell used printers as well as you sold your business and and because you believed it and because of that you i mean I, i've heard you say it sometimes like You've had you had an army of salespeople, like your employees, people at the chamber, other events, and and likely I'm guessing because you couldn't imagine why wouldn't these people sell this for us? Like we are great, and and when you have that, you really do you exude it, and and um, you like I said, you your tonality changes, your body language changes, and you know imagine trying to 
a leadership, like a, a somebody in a position of leadership that doesn't really believe in what they're doing versus somebody in a position of leadership that truly believes in the vision of what they're building, who are you going to follow? Well, in sales, sales is just another form of leadership. Like you're helping people make those decisions. So 